One of the worst things about a cough is that sometimes it feels like it could be caused by just about anything. But here's a question. Can the kind of cough that's bothering you give a hint to its cause? Is this just a cold, allergies, or something else? I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tori, Parade's resident health guru, and the Cleveland Clinic gave me everything I need <coughs> to answer these medical questions. This is the TMI Show. It's one of your doctor's least favorite games. It's time to play What's That Cough? We've got two different categories of cough, the chronics and the acutes. Let's get introduced. Acute coughs are caused by temporary illnesses like colds, flus, and other viruses. Acute coughs can last up to eight weeks, but over-the-counter cough medication can usually help quiet them down. A dry cough that later turns wet and phlegmy with yellow, green, or red-tinged mucus, mucus could be a sign of pneumonia, this condition inflames your lungs and fills them with fluid and can be really serious. If you think you might have pneumonia, talk to your doctor ASAP. There's a vaccine recommended for infants up to age two and adults 65 and over because they're most vulnerable to dangerous complications if they do get pneumonia. Another kind of acute cough is caused by a virus called pertussis, also called whooping cough. It's called whooping cough because if you have it, you actually make a whooping sound when you inhale. This hacking cough can be so severe and intense that it makes you vomit. So you definitely don't wanna get it. The good news is that whooping cough can be totally prevented with a vaccine. The bad news is that whooping cough is on the rise because people are skipping the vaccine. Come on, people. Forever stop that story. That's disgusting and it doesn't count. I mean, no one wants to get stuck by a needle, but wouldn't you prefer that over coughing till you puke? Just do it! So those are some examples of acute coughs. Not so cute, really, but... The other category is chronic coughs. These last eight or more weeks and can have many different causes. Allergies, colds, and sinus infections can all cause chronic coughs. And allergies, colds, and sinus infections all cause chronic coughs the same way. It's such a fun phrase to say, too. Post-nasal drip. In other words, mucus running down the back of your throat. Ew. Chronic coughs that come with colds, allergies, and sinus infections can be dry or wet. They also tend to get worse at night. You may be surprised that this next type of cough actually accounts for 40% of cases of chronic coughs. I'm talking about good old GERD. GERD, 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 good, good, good old GERD, GERD. GERD or good. GERD or gastroesophageal reflux disease happens when stomach acid backs up into your esophagus and causes irritation. I mean irritation as an in inflammation, but also as in really annoying. You probably know that acid reflux often causes heartburn, but some people experience reflux without any heartburn at all. Instead, they have a dry, uncontrollable cough that's sometimes eased if you sleep with your head propped up above your feet. If you've got a chronic cough and you're not getting relief from over-the-counter medication or the coughing persists beyond a week or two, consult your doctor. They'll determine what further steps you should take to halt your hacking. <coughs> Plus, sometimes coughing could be a sign of something more serious, like chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD. This condition causes lung inflammation that constricts your airways, making breathing very, very difficult. It's usually caused by long-term exposure to lung irritants, like cigarette smoke. This hacking cough creates a lot of mucus, particularly in the morning. Quitting smoking is one of the best things you can do to avoid COPD, cut down on coughing, or even just improve your overall health. Smoking's bad, okay. People with asthma may also have to deal with coughs because asthma causes airway inflammation, swelling, and extra mucus production. This makes breathing more difficult. Asthmatic coughs can be dry or wet and end with a rattle or wheeze. 
Often it gets worse at night, in cold air, or with exercise. Medications like inhaled bronchodilators or corticosteroids can be used by people with asthma for quick relief from coughing attacks. Sometimes medications themselves can be the cause of chronic coughs. This type of cough may appear a few weeks after you start taking a new medication. For example, 20% of patients taking medications called ACE inhibitors for high blood pressure experience a cough. So, to review, get the recommended vaccines for whatever offers vaccination, but otherwise, for your coughs, use over-the-counter meds. If your cough doesn't clear up in a few weeks, what time is it? Doctor time. If you, <coughs> I thought we were done with that. Have a TMI question? Drop it in the comments or send us an email at tmiquestions at parade.com. Maybe you'll see it answered on the next episode of the TMI show. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.